yes <clears throat> it's gone red all right ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for tuning back in or actually clicking on it is your psychologist here it is a bit of a late one tonight actually monday night here in australia 10 to 10 i thought you know what i've had a a small cup of uh, vanilla ice cream and it just uh, it's a reflection of me very very vanilla um, very plain <laughs> that's a horrible intro um, but you know it, it is it is actually what it is um, but yeah I thought I'd do another video while I was at it but look I have titled today's uh, video let me clarify my plans it's not the flashes of titles but before we do my favorite thing to do is let's always check out the charts good old charts let me just do a quick refresh please remember this is coinspot.com.au these are Australian prices I've just done a quick refresh here under the buy and sell Bitcoin currently is there at 7378 that's a drop of 1.06 uh, Ethereum at 220 it's a drop of uh, 2.71 and good old ripple XRP trading at 42 cents it's a drop of point one uh, sorry 1.57 let me just go to your biggest losers at the moment your top so for our chain fetch raven coin and nano and wax um, and your biggest gainers at the moment with 18% increase is iota 43 cents uh, Revein 11.63, that's at 13. Um, and I don't know any other good ones here. Look at that, Electronium finally made it. That's a nice change. 0.08% increase now, just well. That is a little crazy. But as you can see, not much green. There's a lot of red. Doesn't matter why I said it is what it is. Now, um, I thought I would do uh, a video more, more, more for me, just addressing um, just some of the not just co comment <laughs> on YouTube, but just with a couple other people who you know message me on Twitter and message me on Facebook and all that, just about hey man, the way you talk about crypto you know you, you got to talk about like five six seven ten, up to ten years until the moons and you know what that's what I wanted to clarify that's what I wanted to just let me give you what my plans are um, you don't have to follow my plans my plans are just just mine and what I want to do with with um, with my with my crypto all right um, and we never ever say how much we actually have there but um, my plan is not to you know hit the 50 million dollar mark um, I am realistic at, at the same time and you know if if ripple or XRP would was to go up to you know the the thousand dollar mark um, yeah, there'd be a substantial amount of money in there. Uh, it'd be well over a million dollars, which is good. I do have a good stake in uh, in XRP, but I've also, you know, I hold Ethereum. I hold, I don't hold any Bitcoin. Um, Electronium, I hold. Tron, I hold. You know, Digibuy, I hold. Um, and now, as of recently, um, with all the bloody hype around it, um, what was it? What did I just get? Cardano. Yeah, Cardano is another thing. Oh, sorry, V Chain, V Chain today. But anytime I talk about what I wanted to do or what I want to do and why I'm doing it is for my for my family. And uh, I always brag about Disneyland. Now I I can assure you I I, I don't have just like, you know, a hundred or two hundred XRP. I've done I've done my side jobs, my hustles, I've that that them strict that pay comes in and a portion goes towards crypto. Um, and you know, as as one could kind of guess, it can accumulate. It does get bigger and bigger and so forth. And it's fine. And you know, maybe one day when it hits a certain number, 
Um, I might say, hey guys, I finally did. I'm a bloody millionaire, or something along those lines. But yeah, just a lot of the comments uh, that get thrown out is, the, I'm dreaming. I'll never, you know, I'll never live to it until the moons. And you know what? I probably don't need the moon right about now. Yeah, I'd go. I'd settle with the atmosphere. Or the, the, yeah, you know, the clouds. I'd, I'd settle for the clouds right about now. Again, if we, if we must remain realistic about what's happening, can XRP this year with everything hit $1,000? I don't think so. I'd love for it to hit it, but I don't think so. Can it hit 500? No. Will we get that 589? No, I don't. I don't really think so. Um, can we see it go past its all-time high? Yes. In Australia, that was around four bucks, four dollars twenty, maybe. Can it get past that? Yes, I believe. How much more can it get past that wall? Rule of thumb is, especially with everything good that's been happening with XRP, we should see it triple. Can I get it to, let's say, 15 to 20 dollars? Yes, that I believe we can. And if it was to get to that, and that's just XRP, if I could get it to that, would I have enough to, let's say, take the family to Disneyland? I reckon. I reckon we can get there. My wife has just walked in. You want to come in and say hi? I don't think you can see. Can you let the cat out, please? Yeah, so she does that every now and then. She just kind of walks in, doesn't knock, but you know, it's kind of her house too. So I can't really blame her for anything. Anyway, the, um, but yeah, this, this is what I mean. I, I, I just, I just want people to know that the the expectation from me is not to go. All right, I'm gonna pay the house off um, in one one swoop. That I'm gonna quit my job. Like I, I know that's probably one of the things that I'm trying to avoid right now um, is is quitting my job. Um, you know, I've I've been reading all these things about what to do if you suddenly hit it big and first thing they said is don't quit your job you know if tomorrow XRP goes through the roof and you know I'm a multi-millionaire I'll, I'd want to quit my job but I don't think I, I'd, I'd have to I'd because you know I don't come from a I don't have a business background or or a, I, I just reckon I'll start going a bit crazy with, <laughs> with the newfound wealth is that something I want to do? I don't think so. Um, you know, one of the things that they mention is really just take care of you, take care of your health. You want to be healthy, you want to live long enough and be fit enough to enjoy uh, all the rewards that you're going to be reaping. You know, invest in yourself. You know, um, go part time at work and do a business course. Do a do something, get a diploma, get a degree. Like that's that's something I'd love to be able to do. You know, better myself, so that when the time comes and I do speak with a financial advisor, and I say, "Listen, I've come across a good amount of money and wealth, and I'd really like to be able to retain it for as long as I can. Uh, I need it to work for me." And we'll go through some options, and we'll go through that. Of course, I believe there, there will be, there will probably be a short portion of time where I'll go, you know what, I'm going to live it up a little bit. I might get a, get a new car, help the missus out with all of her, you know, her luxury handbags or stuff that she likes. And, you know, we, we've, we, um, I don't want to say we're struggling, but we, you know, we're going fortnight to fortnight, week by week, just seeing what we can do. Um... Yeah, to really take care of our two girls, and those uh, those two girls are the ones that drive us, really. Anyway, 
my plans or my exit plans and I know a lot of people have been doing exit plan videos what they want to do so my portfolio if I can actually see an increase of uh, which will allow me to draw out at least fifty thousand dollars believe me that's something I do I'd be drawing 50k out and I'd be leaving the rest inside um, because I can see where what people are saying about XRP more than likely won't hit their potential and I'm talking the top potential probably for another five years I keep hearing that number five five years and um, although that would be a great time for me to just huddle my ass off and just wait because by then the girls will be you know they'll be a bit older um, yeah five years time yeah winter yeah winter will be nine Willow will be seven I mean that's a perfect time to go to Disneyland but yeah I can't wait to go to Disneyland seriously I want to go <sighs> and you know I do want to stop working for a little bit I do need to take the family on a holiday and I, I, I want to be able to do that type of stuff there was um there was one uh tweet i saw earlier today and someone wrote um i don't care what the price of xrp is i'm going to continue to buy you know and i just i just felt like i had to be real with this person the way that i'm learning to be real with myself and i think you guys truly have made me a lot a lot more tougher and i always say you know i'm, I'm a bit of a dud or a bit of a sensitive investor or the wrong type of investor because i invest with my feelings and my emotions and i've been i've been surprising myself i keep looking at my phone um and I look at these prices dropping and you know I'm, i don't flinch as much anymore i still do i've got <sighs> but at the end not really much I can do. I know and have faith in the fact that Ripple is doing a lot in the background. They are doing what they need to do. They say that the price um, just distracts them from their focus that they're doing. And you know what? I believe that's true. I shouldn't let the price of XRP cloud my views, my plans, and my dreams of what's going to happen down the track. Um, as one of the bigger YouTubers, uh, DAI, explained, you know, switch off. And you know what? It, it's it's very very hard, especially when you've got a decent amount of money invested in crypto. Um, but I am finding that I'm pulling back a lot more, pulling back and just taking a bit of a breather and saying, you know, everything's going to be okay. And, you know, when you are in a dark place or a dark situation, you, sometimes you just need someone to come up and tell you, hey, listen, everything is going to be okay. And that can take the weight off the world off your shoulders. I really do believe that out of this next bull run, which a lot of people are anticipating that it's literally around the corner and believe me uh, the dreams I've had about this bloody bull run seriously now I now keep my ledger nano s like kept me because my dream was I woke up looked at my phone ripple of oh sorry XRP had hit $1,500 and I'm like, great, I've got a plan, I've got a strategy, and for the life of me, could not find my Legend NAS. And it's always here. No one touches it. And at that time, couldn't get my hands on it. And it was one of those dreams that was so real that I started sweating and shaking when I could not find it. <laughs> and uh, one of the worst mornings in the world purely because I thought it was real. It's something definitely to look forward to when, um, whenever it actually happens. And although it might not hit the $1,500 mark for a long time, one day, 
One day I think it will. I actually believe one day will be somewhere near Bitcoin's prizes now. Um, you know, so in Australia around the $7,000 mark. I, I don't see why we couldn't, especially with everything that's been happening. Anyway, um, I did get a, a bit of a hint or a tip from uh, one of the comments, uh, or actually someone from Twitter said, you know what, you should actually start talking about other cryptocurrencies apart from XRP. If I wanted to uh, increase the view count or the like count or the subscriber count, because let's face it, you know, your big YouTubers have pretty much got the XRP community like covered. Um, is there room for, for someone else with a really, really niche or niche uh, market where it's not about talking about um, the, the price, the technical analysis and all that? I mean, is there room for someone to just pour his or her heart out about how to go within their crypto journey maybe yeah i'd love for um for anyone to write any comment down just so we can have a chat about it talk about it and you know if you're in the same boat um you know, hop in hop on and we'll go on this journey together but yeah i'll keep it as a quick video for tonight guys but um but yeah look, again those are really just my plans just to clarify you know I don't need XRP tomorrow to get to you know a thousand dollars two thousand dollars for me to actually start moving forward with some of the plans I I would dare say if I can get XRP to hit the fifty dollar mark um, and that will deploy part one of my plans for twenty percent will be cashed out um, which will which should give me around yeah, ninety thousand dollars. Ninety grand will um, get rid of the majority of the debts, apart from the mortgages um, and family holiday, Disneyland. Yes, um, help the parents out, help the brother and sister out, cousins out. And I'm not talking about taking them, you know, on a shopping spree. I'm talking about helping them out financially and you know what we're not greedy people we're really there just to uh, we just want to be happy and that's probably the best thing about my family is we genuinely care about our family and each other and uh, that's what matters to me seriously family but yeah if you haven't subscribed yet please feel free to especially if you only subscribe to one channel a month Hopefully next month um, I could be your lucky pick. I'd love to get uh, a couple more views up here because at the end of the day, you know, I do want to see this channel grow. Um, I'm I'm committed and I know it does take a long time. It takes a long time to build a lot of momentum. And you know what? Um, throw me some hints and tips, uh, feedback about how I can make this channel better. How I can you know, take it from this level to that level where, you know, we've, we're have we doing live streams where we've got, you know, a, a massive community of, what, five, six hundred people at a time. Um, it's almost like a, a debrief session, <laughs> you know, if, if anything. We could we could do a session like that called the debrief uh, where we're literally just letting feelings and emotions out because I'm telling you, this for me is therapy. This for me is having an opportunity to speak with people who, if you've clicked on, I would dare say you're listening. Um, yeah, tell me something. What am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? Um, a thumbs up is just as good as a thumbs down. Yeah. I really do appreciate you clicking again, guys. Um, it is again, yeah, 10 past 10 now. I'll have a cup of coffee with cinnamon. Anyway, this is your psychologist.